chasing the police every single day. Hey, Shredder County, this is Shari County Cop Watch. I'm going to make a comment on this before I do the screen read. Uh, this is bullshit and a little bit uh, too fucking late. It's right there on video. Point to go to police are getting body cameras to see benefits for cops in public. That part is true, and it's a little bit too late. Uh, this is the same department that let their uh, guy, Lee Cole, let his dog eat a guy for no light on his bicycle. First of all, who the fuck said you need a goddamn light in your bicycle? I don't remember that in the Constitution or Founding Fathers fighting for that. And after that, they had to uh, make him look good, so they gave him a real gun in a shoot-don't-shoot shoot, uh, scenario. And uh, he put real bullets in it and killed Mary Knowlton. I would, and both of those, I would have loved body camera, man. That would have been a great YouTube video, okay, to show their utter stupidity, okay? And then we got more. Uh, so here's more of what happened. Um, even though uh, Ian McGuire, uh, fake honor Ian McGuire is a total shithead, he still has fucking rights. He was assaulted three different fucking times. One time he was at the burger bar. A lady threw water on him with ice, freaking hit him, hit him in the face, all that. Uh, did uh, did they file uh, uh, assault charges on a lady? No. Another time he was at the burger by a fucking ex-cop. Uh, brandished a gun and threatened him with it. And did they arrest him? No. And again, if both of those were on body camera, I would have put him on YouTube and Facebook all day long. The third one. An old fart freaking assaulted Ian McGuire, fake otter Ian McGuire. He used to be a real otter, but not anymore. Now he's in prison. But anyways, uh, uh, he was at the library. Old fart assaulted him on video. The fucking cops, because they didn't have the body camera, let the fucker go. In fact, when I pulled the records on that, just to show you guys I'm not a total asshole dick, uh, I hate his guts because he did witness tampering on it too, but he still has rights. When I went to get the uh, story on did they charge the old fart or not, they claimed no charge and he was a victim. So on Marcy's Law, he couldn't even get his name. Everything is so fucked up in this world right now, I, just, I can't figure it out anymore. But remember what our founding father said, Take your goddamn country back before it's too late. You're a frog in a pot. It's fucking boiling, and everybody needs body cameras and car cameras, including the Charlotte County Sheriff. So, uh, and if you elect me, uh, cop watch for sheriff, I will free the weed and make sure every motherfucker has a car camera and body camera. And if they don't, charges are gone, buddy, because cops can't be trusted. You just... There's too much proof out there. You can't be trusted. You're human. You lie. And when you're a cop, you lie even more. It's disgusting. And you should pay for it. It's a little too late. We needed it when you let Lee C.O.E.L. dog eat a guy for no light on his bike. Then you let the moron have a gun and he killed Mary Nalton. Then you have dirty cops that let criminals get away with assaulting fake auditor Ian McGuire. Then you illegally trespassed Andrew Sheets reporter for Cope Watch. From City Hall for legally filming. Now you are being sued to hell for it. It's right there on video. PG police are getting body cameras, see benefits for cops, public. By an Isker. Staff writer. Punta Gorda by early next year, the Punta Gorda Police Department expects all its officers to be wearing body cameras. The police department has budgeted $134,038 over the next five years for a body camera program. They recently received a grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to offset the cost. The grant funding of $67,019 will cover 50% of the total cost. For now, three officers are wearing body cameras from Axon Incorporated, the makers of Taser, for a trial period. Officer Taylor Smith, one of the officers testing the cameras, said so far, the reactions have all been positive. A couple of people, they were actually cited, the people that had noticed it were kind of like, oh, you guys finally got them, that's awesome, Smith said. We've had a lot of positive reaction to it. In a press release, 
Police Chief Pam Davis said the department believes the cameras will help increase transparency and ensure that our officers continue to maintain the high level of professionalism that our community has come to expend. However, that's the least of the reasons the department is pursuing the program, according to Lt. Dylan Renz. We really have such a low number of use of force complaints or complaints against officers that justifying this kind of expense solely for that doesn't really make sense, Renz said. More important to the department is the camera's use in criminal investigations and prosecution, he said. It's huge for prosecution if they have actual video of things. See video, 1C. Officer Taylor Smith is one of the three officers who has been wearing a body camera for about a month at Punta Gorda Police Department. All officers should be wearing them by early next year. Sun photo by an Esker. Video. From page 4C. Happening, he said. Officer Smith said the cameras benefit both officers and members of the public equally. Either way you look at it, it's covering us if there is any kind of discrepancy and it's also covering whoever we interact with, she said. If there's some kind of misunderstanding, these are things where we can go back in, pull the video, and say that's here, here, and here. There are no discrepancies. There are no questions. It's right there on the video. Officers are able to either mute the cameras or turn them off totally in situations where privacy is a concern, such as in a hospital or if someone is giving sensitive information, like bank account or social security numbers. In a residence, if they don't feel comfortable, I just shut the whole thing off, Smith said. I don't go any further, because we want the people we're working with to feel comfortable talking about that type of stuff. So far I've gotten nope, that's totally fine, come on in. Renz and Smith both said it seems more and more agencies are heading toward their officers wearing cameras. The Northport Police Department implemented them earlier this year, though neither the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office nor the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office wear them. Sheriff Tom Knight wrote in a recent editorial his current position is to watch, study and learn more before expending considerable time, manpower, and taxpayer funding to purchase and adopt body-worn cameras for our 400-plus deputies. I acknowledge that these cameras can have benefits, but maintain that, much like the ongoing tangle of ethical and legal issues currently surrounding social media and law enforcement, our state and federal laws have not caught up with the realities of recording everyday contact between the police and citizens, he wrote. Similarly, the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office said the expense for the cameras and storage are currently prohibitive. In addition to the cost for the equipment, other variables add up such as storage of all the footage and most likely needing a full-time staffer to review and redact the video based on privacy laws, said Charlotte County Sheriff's Office spokesperson Katie Heck. The Axon cameras come with cloud-based storage, which the police department would be able to make directly accessible to the state attorney's office for any relevant cases. Wren said the department may test another brand of body cameras before making a decision and beginning the procurement process. Email, n.easker at yourzun.com. Hey, Sheriff Connie, this is Sheriff Connie Copwatch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. And uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.